How to turn a leftover based brioche pastry into a dearful plated dessert interpretation without the need of expensive equipment? Well, that's going to be the challenge today. I'm going to make a light almond syrup first. And by the way, for the brioche, I proofed and baked the one I saved from my King Cake Fouas Rosca de Reyes video. So to ensure the strength of this version, we're going to have to roll out some pastry first. Pat sablé into a thin rectangle sheet that will fit into the baking tray freeze, prick, and pre-bake for 20 minutes uh, using pie weights and 10 minutes without. Definitely a budget-friendly dessert that will impress your guests or customers. So you want to make large and squared slices of brioche, enough for two tiers, and of course, save the scraps for your next bread pudding. What follows is something we've done in the past, the famous pastry cream, crème pâtissière, my favorite custard of all. Nothing has changed. Temper the egg yolk starch mixture with the hot milk, transfer back in a saucepan, bring to a boil and cook for two minutes, whisking swiftly and constantly. Remove from the heat, throw in the butter and blend well. Transfer custard over a baking tray, a frozen baking tray, so it's gonna cool down faster. Let cool and chill completely. Then transfer custard in a mixing bowl and beat on high until smooth. That's it. Magnifique. It looks like mayonnaise, actually. But it's not. Don't get confused. Because if you make your sandwiches with that, <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble. So in order for the first layer of brioche to stick, I'm gonna spread a thin layer of pastry cream. How beautiful. Comme c'est beau la pâtisserie. Mix the remaining custard with uh, the candied fruits known as tutti frutti or peel mix. Easy to find on Amazon. Next step, I am going to cover the whole thing with the brioche dunked in the almond syrup. Then pipe out the pastry cream, smooth out and top with the remaining brioche. Make a neat slab of goodness. Wrap up and flip crust side up, so then it will end up perfectly even. Place in a freezer for 3 hours to set. Unmold, trim edges and divide into 8 bars and freeze again. Meanwhile, I'm gonna beat my room temperature egg whites on medium speed and cook my syrup to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 Celsius. Some professionals, though, like to use this ancient technique, which consists of dipping your fingertips in ice water, cooked sugar, and back in ice water. When it forms a ball, it's ready to go. Cuisson au boulet. Pour syrup in thin stream and beat on high to firm picks. Italian meringue done. Wrap each bar with a thin coating of meringue and decorate using a centenary pastry tip or whichever you like. Six minutes before serving, flash bake your brioche polonaise bar. By the way, here is an awesome technique for plating some of your desserts. Just flatten some meringue using the bottom of a saucepan and torch. I hope guys you had fun. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. That is the OMG effect we are all looking for, right?